Hi girls, it's Angie. So this film, um, or this vlog that I want to film, is going to be about um, a condition called PUPS. So um, PUPS is it's a really long name um, for a rash uh, during pregnancy, a specific rash. Um, and if you get it, which I hope you don't, um, it is horrendous. So I just want to tell you guys a little bit about it. Um, I want to tell you guys what I've been doing to kind of treat the symptoms and um, kind of how I'm trying to make it through the rest of the pregnancy um, with this condition. So um, I guess without further ado, we'll get started. So um, PUPS is there, they have several theories. So um, one it does not affect very many people in pregnancy. It's about one every 200 to 250 people, depending on what study you're looking at. Um, and typically about 70% of those moms are pregnant with males. And um, a lot of the other ones that are not pregnant with males that get it are multiple pregnancies. Typically it's your first pregnancy and it starts about week 35. Now this doesn't mean that everybody with pups is the same of course but these are typically um, the onset and things like that so they say that it um, they theorize they've done studies in the past where they've taken samples of um, the rash and broken down the DNA in the rash to see what it's from um, and they've found male DNA actually in the um, the plaques or you know um, rash part of the the mom um, what they theorize is that your baby's DNA is released in your body now whether I mean I know it's always released in your body because you're pregnant so it's released in their nine months but I'm thinking maybe the third trimester just because or 35 weeks and longer is because your baby's hormones are a lot stronger than um, your as a result anyway your baby's DNA is in your system. Your system sees it as foreign and tries to attack that, thus causing you basically an allergic reaction or a histamine response to um, the fetus's DNA in your bloodstream. So um, this does not hurt the baby at all. Um, this doesn't mean there's anything wrong with a baby. It just means that mom is going to be very uncomfortable and very itchy um, the only treatment is delivery. So um, I started out with this um, rash about week 35. Um, I noticed a, it, I didn't recognize it as a rash, but I did know that it was itching really bad on the bottom portion of my stomach. Um, this is where they typically say it starts. Um, and it would just itch and itch and itch and I just thought it was because he was getting bigger and my stomach was getting bigger and my skin was stretching and that's why I was itching so much. Um, about week 36, um, which was, I'm 37 and 4 now, so week 36 towards the end, probably about a week ago, um, I did notice that I was itching on my legs, like around my ankles. Um, and had a rash there and a rash in the inner part of my thighs. Um, again, it drove me crazy, um, but I could sleep kind of and um, didn't, re you know, didn't really think about anything. Um, just thought that I'd just been scratching. So um, that was a Friday. Saturday it got worse. Um, it was all over my stomach at this point. Um, it was down my sides, in the inner part of my thighs, all along my ankles and calves, and um, did not sleep at all Saturday night because I was itching so much. Um, nothing was relieving it. I had tried um, several things, and we'll go through some of those as well, um, and they didn't really work. So um, we did, let's see. Then about Sunday, Sunday night-ish, um, and Monday, the rash spread to the inner parts of my arms all the way up to my chest. Um, and so it's pretty much literally everywhere. 
Um, it itches really bad. Um, it feels like having a million mosquito bites all over your body. And um, you're trying not to scratch them because you don't want to get infection from scratching. Um, but it's impossible to not scratch. Um, so the doctor, I went to the doctor and the doctor said to um, start doing some hydrocortisone cream, um, which I had been doing because I had told her at week 35 that I was starting to itch a lot on my belly and she just told me hydrocortisone cream. So that's what I started off with. I've got all my little things over here so I can show you what I've done. Um, okay. Um, so I started with hydrocortisone cream, which is like a steroid cream, but it's over the counter and it's like an ant. They also call it like anti itch plus or whatever. I just got the generic brand. So did that was doing that all over my body several times a day with no relief. Um, she ended up prescribing me as well. Um, I had been doing before I even went and saw her. I had been doing um, Sarna lotion because this is supposed to um, help with uh, anti-itch for dry sensitive skin um, and people with eczema use this so I thought it would be pretty good to try. Um, although my skin's not dry but it is really itchy. Um, this I mean worked for a lotion but it didn't relieve the itching. I'm itching now that I'm talking to you. Didn't relieve the itching. Um, I then did, let's see, what else? Um, I then would do some Benadryl cream as well. Um, and then she told me to take two Benadryl tablets every um, six hours for the itching. And I'm normally a person that can take one Benadryl and I will be sleeping for hours and hours and hours, like 12 plus hours. And I was taking two Benadryl every five to six hours and sleeping two hours at night because I was itching so bad. Um, so Tuesday, so I'm doing all this stuff. Tuesday, um, I or Monday night, I went out and bought, I was looking on some websites and trying to see what other people have tried to work, if that's worked. And somebody recommended the African Hot Six Oil, or African Royale Hot Six Oil. So I went and got that because um, they were saying, oh, it just really relieves everything. My pups went away right afterwards, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. Um, I put it on after my bath. And um, it helped for a little bit um, with the itching, but I think it was more like up here. Um, I was hoping for it to help. Um, and then about 30 minutes later, I started itching really bad again. Um, so... But it did leave my skin feeling really, really soft and really nice. Um, and it's actually helped with my stretch marks on my stomach. So um, I keep using it um, in my bath. So I've been taking baths probably every two, probably every three to four hours, four, or four to six, you know, between three and six hours. Um, I'll take a bath. I'll sit in it and put some um, that oatmeal bath stuff in there. And it seems to, you know, kind of, and, you know, you're putting on so much lotion. Like I reapply um, the regimen I'm going to tell you about. I reapply every like two hours I have to reapply. And so, you know, after about six hours, your skin is just like loaded with junk all over it. And so you need to clean it all off and then get a new um, thing. So I will sit in like an oatmeal bath and then I'll put some of that hot six oil in the bath too. And then it kind of keeps my skin nice and um, soft. And it smells good too. So anyway, um, so what I have been doing, Tuesday night um, I was bawling my eyes out. And I told my husband I can't do this anymore. Um, baby, if he was born right now, would be okay. Um, but I would really like him to stay in there until 38 weeks because, you know, they get their sucking reflex at 38 weeks. A lot of babies born at 37 and a half weeks are... Um, poor feeders and some of them are really jaundiced um, meaning their liver is not fully developed yet and so I just don't want to you know because I'm itching go and induce myself and then you know Nick has problems however the itching that I'm telling you about 
I can't say it enough, is severe. And if you've ever had pups, you know that it's awful. Um, it, it is. It's awful. So it's not just like a little itch here and there. It's just like mosquito bites all over your body constantly. Um, it really does affect like my daily life. Um, I can't, it just, I don't, I can't, I don't have time to do anything else because I'm always itching and reapplying and lotioning and bathing. And then, you know, I'll have like an hour and then I've got it all over again, you know? And so it's been hard to try and get ready, um, for Nick because I just am so tired because I'm not sleeping and I'm so just uncomfortable. However, I have found some things that make pups slightly more tolerable. So my doctor called me in a prescription at, uh, on Tuesday night because it would just got to where I couldn't take it anymore. Um, I was literally telling her that I was going to come in and she was going to induce me because I couldn't do this anymore. And I, was, I couldn't stop itching everywhere. She called me in a prescription for a medicine called um, Visteril. Visceral is um, used for itching, and it's a tablet. It's kind of like Benadryl, only it's way stronger. So she said, take one tablet, um, and then I'm on prednisone anyway, um, she gave me for it. So I took the prednisone. Um, I take that in the morning, and then I took two. Vi I took a Visteral at night. It didn't work. After two hours, I was still, like, itching my skin off, so I took another one, um, and it seemed to kind of help. Um, with the itching, bring it under control anyway. So what I've been doing in the meantime is I'll get in an oatmeal bath or a shower either way and I use an Aveeno, um, it's, a, it's a body wash for irritated skin. So I use that um, and then when I get out of the shower I will either use um, a Sarna lotion or I'll use this um, Gold Bond medicated um, it's a body lotion that helps dry itchy skin and it's got menthol in it so it's really cooling um, but it if you haven't used this before and you um, are going to get some use it on a small part of your body first so you can feel what this feels like when it's on your skin because there's a lot of menthol in this and it just almost like you're trembling you're shaking so bad because it makes you really cold for a few minutes um, however when you're itching a lot this is a really helpful thing um, it kind of keeps your mind off the itching and lets that kind of go so um, I do those two I also do um, a my legs were itching so bad um, that I had gotten some loofah gloves which is a bad idea um, and was like exfoliating basically my lower legs because they were itching so bad well I did it too much and um, broke open pretty much most of my legs um, so they're all like raw and open um, so I have been putting um, triple antibiotic cream on it so like a neosporin or a polysporin on my lower legs and then I'll put all the lotion everywhere else because um, the lotion would really really burn um, if it was on your bare leg and it was open so I'm doing that I'm also doing um, a gold bond powder. It's the same as the lotion, only it's a powder. Um, the reason why I'm using powder as well is because underneath my arms where the rash is as well, and I'll show you guys all the places that I have this rash, but um, it has been getting worse instead of better. And I think it's because, you know, underneath your arms you sweat. And so even though I'm wearing deodorant and everything, it's still hot under there. So it's getting, um, you know, just it's sitting there wet. So um, I put some powder on it just to keep the moisture down there. And then it has the same properties as the Gold Bond Lotion. So it's helping a lot. And then I'm also putting it, you know, like in between my thighs too, like before I go to bed. So those are the things that I am using so far. Um, to try and help with pups. Um, it does help for about a couple of hours. Now, I, as you can tell, I'm kind of itchy anyways right now, but um, I just applied, 
and it it's like a moderate itch instead of a severe. It's like a medium to a moderate. Excuse me. But it brings it down a few notches from being so awful that I can't function. Um, so without further ado, I guess I'll show you this rash. And then I hope it shows up on here. I don't know if it will or not because it's just my computer's um, camera. But I don't know if it will really show anything here, but maybe here. So I don't know if you can see this, but see the um, redness right through here. And then it's really calmed down a lot um, since when I first started, but it's red and blotchy throughout. And this arm is the same way and red and blotchy throughout. You can maybe see it a little bit better right here. Um, it is on my stomach, which I will show you. Has gotten a little better though. And on my sides, all the way up here. And here on this side. Um, then I know you'll be able to see my legs, so that's why I'll show them to you because they look horrendous. But my legs, here I can see it. Let's see if we do it like this. Okay, so there's my legs. And you can see, um, I'm trying to think. It's hard to, yeah, anyway, you can see the rash all along here, all the way around. It goes and then my other leg as well is the same way um, there's open areas see where it's itching really bad it goes all the way around too um, and then you know it's kind of it's on the upper part of my legs too so um, that is the rash so um, if you have pups usually how it'll start is it will start on the lower part of your belly and then work its way everywhere else. Um, they distinguish it by, as pups, when you do not have, a, you have a ring around your belly button, that there is no rash. And um, my belly is actually looking really good as far as the um, rash goes. I'm gonna see if you can see it, but there's like a ring around here where there's nothing and then there's rash around it. Um, but it is getting more mild. It is starting to clear up slightly. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions about pups um, or pups treatments, let me know. Um, I would really like to be a resource for people. Um, and, you know, if you're going through this, I'm really sorry. And it is horrible. Um, but you know, it's for a good cause, and no matter how many times you try and think that, um, it's really frustrating too. Um, so, I just want to know that I want you all to know that I'm here for you if you have this, and it is awful. Um, but we can get through this and try to manage these symptoms, and um, that is about it. So I will let you guys go, and I will film a vlog for my 37-week pregnancy. Talk to you later. Bye bye.